hi guys welcome back once again to my channel this is the continu continuation of the video that I, will ju I just uploaded if you have not seen that one please kindly go and see it because that is the continuation of this in that video i drafted this pattern so we are going to be going ahead to sew it to join it and to do the finishing touches to what we have started in the previous video so sit back as we roll here are our cutouts the back the front and then the sleeve that we already cut and spread all the material that we'll be using to join we have all assembled them here right now so i'll be going ahead to work with the front piece All right, that's the lining and that is the material itself so what would we be doing now like you see it's the the right side facing up i'm going to go ahead and join i'm going to go ahead and proceed to the machine and join the lining to the material and then use it and turn it first of all i'll be starting from the hem part of the dress i'm going to be starting from the hemming part of the dress because once I join it, then I will be able to drag it up so that it will be able to drag the one inch extra that I added to the material itself up before I will go ahead and stitch the neck by half an inch. All this I'll be joining with half an inch. I will stick the neck as I'm showing you there by half an inch. Then I will do a top stitch. Once I'm done that, I will then stitch the two sides and come back and show us the same thing i'm going to be doing with this second one i'm going to be stitching from the hemming area then drag it up and stitch the neck area then top stitch and then stitch the two sides and then turn them and then i'm going to bring it back so that we'll see what we have done all this i'll be joining by half an inch nothing more than that it's just half an inch i'll be using to join them as well then I'll bring it back so that we will see what we have achieved. All right, here we go. I've already finished joining. Then I have already ironed it down as well. You can see what I was trying to explain. Look at the down part. Look at the material, the way it, the lining dragged the material up. Then I'll be going ahead right now to attach our zip to the clothes right now and you know it's going to be an open one so the the excess zip that will be remaining i'll be cutting it up from there i'm going to be joining it from the down part the down and then cut the excess from the upper part and then remove it so i'm going to go ahead and join it just the way you're seeing me do right now i'm going to go ahead making use of the one inch zip allowance that we have provided initially to join it then i'll bring it back so that we will see what we have done here we go i'm done joining so what will i be doing i'll go ahead and cut off the excess zip i didn't want to cut it outside the camera i wanted to cut it in the camera so that we'll see what i'm doing i'm going to i'm not going to be cutting it exactly to the length of the dress i'm going to be cutting it one inch above the length of the dress so that i'll be able to fold it in neatly and then close the edge of the zip so that is the way i'll fold it in then use the clothes to turn it and then i'll top stitch on it just the way you're seeing me do i'm going to fold it in neatly the way you're seeing me do then i'll use the clothes and then hold it down and top stitch that would be the way i'm going to close the zip and then once i'm done with that then the front is ready we'll now proceed to the back i'm going to go ahead the same way i joined the front the same way i use the lining to turn the material is the same way i'm going to be using the lining to turn the back here i'm going to start from the hemming area once i join the hemming area then i'll go ahead and join the neck once i join the neck i will notch then I will top stitch and then join the two sides. Then I'll bring it so that we we'll all see what we have done. Okay, here we go. I'm done joining using the lining to turn the back. You can see how neat it is looking. 
then I'm going to go ahead and join the two, the back and the front together on the shoulder area. I'm going to be joining it on the shoulder area. Just watch me as I demonstrate the way I'll be joining it. Okay, I'm going to, on one side of the clothes, on the one side of the shoulder, I'm going to hold the back and the front together, the back shoulder and the front shoulder together. Then I'll use line one of the lining of, it's either the back or the front, and use it and cover it. Once I cover it, I'm going to stitch it down by half an inch. Once I use it to cover it the way you're seeing me do, just pay attention to the to what I am doing right now. I'm going to go ahead and pin it down the way you're seeing me do. Then I'll also do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to be joining it by half an inch. Once you do, once you sew it in like this, you find out that the shoulder will be very neatly joined. Neatly joined, you won't even see any stitches once you are done with it. I'll be doing the same thing to the other sleeve. I'm going to be joining by half an inch after I have neatly arranged this and joined it the way I have shown you. I'll bring it back so that we will all see it by the time I'm done sewing it in my machine. All right, here we go. I am done joining it on the shoulder. You can see what I'm trying to tell you. Look at how neat it is looking. The stitches are not even showing. So I'm going to set that aside and we'll work on the sleeve. The sleeve is the next thing that we'll be working on right now. So on the sleeve, I'm going to start with the hem main area. I'm going to start with the hemming area. I'm going to be taking that to my machine and on the wrong side I'll be double folding the edge twice the way you're seeing me do I'll double fold it the first time and I'll fold it again then I'll run a stitch down this is to create a casing that will accommodate the um, elastic that I'll be using for the sleeve so once I'm done with that I'll bring it I'll do it for the boot sleeve here we go, I am done sewing it. So what are we going to be doing next? I'm going to be passing through, passing the elastic through the casing that we have already created. Just watch me the way I'm going to do it. The ribs, as I told us initially, the round sleeve is um, seven inches. So I'll be going ahead to cut six inches of my elastic. I'm going to be cutting six inches. You can decide to cut it seven. So I'll be going ahead to cut two of that for the boat sleeve. Once I'm done cutting it, I'm going to go ahead and use my safety pin and carefully pass it through the casing that I have already created. I'll carefully pass it through the casing that I have already created. Once you're doing this, once you have passed the, the elastic to an extent, you have to secure the ends of the elastic to the ends of the um, sleeve with a safety pin, or better still, you head over to your machine and use your machine and stick it down. Because once it enters through the casing, you have to start afresh. And I know what I'm saying is a double work that you're giving to yourself. You can see the way I've used my safety pin to hold it down the ends of the elastic to the ends of the of the material of the sleeve then i'll pass it through just the way you're seeing me do right now once i'm done doing that i'm going to also hold it down with the safety pin or better still you can head over to your machine and hold it down i'm going to do the same thing to the other sleeve as well I'll go ahead and head over to my machine and secure the elastic to the sleeve. And wow, guys, there is, I feel, I feel like crying here because I videoed the process of attaching this sleeve to the dress itself. But when I opened it, I found out that everything was blank, exactly blank. I would have loved it to see this process. But what I did was that I had to find the midpoint of the sleeve itself. Then I notched it 
and made sure I aligned it to where I joined the shoulder. Then I had to join it with half an inch. I have to join it round to the armhole with half an inch. Sorry, guys. I really did not know that this, I don't know what happened. But when I opened the place where I videoed this, it was blank. So I'm going to go ahead and join the sides by one inch. I'm going to be joining that by one inch. Exactly one inch. Remember, I left two inch for the sewing allowance. I've used half an inch by, by the sides to join it's half an inch here, half an inch there. So I'm going to be using one inch now to join this the dress by the both side. One inch by the other side. I'll make sure I arrange it very well. Use one inch to hold it by the both side. I am really sorry. I felt like crying when I opened the other area and find out that the stuff was blank. The stuff where I was fixing the sleeve to the dress was blank. So I felt like crying. But I hope you accept my apologies anyway. Then I'll head over to my machine right now and join this by one inch. I will bring it back so that we'll all see what we have done. Thumbs up to us all. I give us all of us a kudos. Thank you for sitting through and thank you for even staying up to this extent. Kindly hit the like button if you are here with me and also put on the notification bell if you have not done so and subscribe if you have not done so as well share this video thank you so much here is the finished product on my mannequin you can see how beautiful it is looking the the mannequin is longer the hand is longer than that of the client but you can see how beautiful it is doing it's looking i believe i did justice to this video i believe i did this justice to this clothes please give me a thumbs up share my video subscribe to my page if you have not done so thank you to all my subscribers i really appreciate you people i don't take you for granted thank you very much see you in my next video bye